Well, it seems like this has been a very busy summer, not just for rainfall and flooding, but also for tornadoes. Oh, yeah, our weather team has been working. In tonight's Question Everything, is it unusual to have this many tornadoes here in Massachusetts? What's going on? WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski looked at past tornadoes in the region to find out more about this trend. July brought a lot of wet weather. In fact, we saw over 10 inches of rain in Boston. We also had severe weather and several tornado warnings across the area. And the National Weather Service issued their first tornado watch in our area in over a year. On July 16th, an EF0 tornado touched down briefly in North Brookfield, producing mainly damage to trees. And that was the first of two tornadoes to touch down in the Bay State in about two weeks. On Saturday, July 29th, an EF1 tornado with estimated maximum winds of 105 miles per hour touched down in Foxborough near the Easton Mansfield line. Historically, Massachusetts averages about two tornadoes a year, with July being the most active month for twisters. So getting the amount of tornadoes we've seen so far is not all that uncommon, but having the right atmospheric conditions did help. And sure enough, we had plenty of days with warm, moist air. We also had a lot of instability and energy. Also, we had winds changing with height and a strong jet. With instances with the right conditions coming together, we saw that risk of those tornadoes being produced. But there have been summers that haven't. In fact, just last year, we had zero tornadoes. But the year before that, we had six. All of those came from tropical systems. And you can see the amount does vary throughout the year. So bottom line, we've seen a few weak tornadoes, which is common for this area. But unfortunately, we just can't let our guard down yet. There's still plenty of summer to go. I'm next weather meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBC News. Some great information yep. there from Sarah.